My name is Samuel Maimbo. I'm Head of Finance for Development and Senior Advisor in the Office of the Managing Director and Chief Financial Officer of the World Bank, and I'm here with Rolf. I'm uh, Rolf Fregenvanu. I'm the Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation and External Trade of the Republic of Vanuatu. What are the climate and disaster risk challenges that Vanuatu is facing? According to various indices, Vanuatu is the most at-risk country in the world from natural hazards. And then when you have to respond to these disasters in terms of relief, in terms of humanitarian supplies, in terms of recovery, rehabilitation, it really takes a big chunk out of the money you have to attend to basic th services like education, health and so on, and just running a country. In the face of these multiple threats, what type of initiatives has government put in place to deal with them? Well, one is that we recognise the resilience within the traditional culture. And that's a, a, that's a really a, a basis for the resilience of this country. We have a 1.5% of our budget is always available for response. And then, of course, we've had developed a strategic partnerships with our development partners. Vanuatu has been quite vocal internationally in terms of raising the importance of climate change and its impact. Are you satisfied with the international response that you're getting so far? I must say that we're not really satisfied, uh, particularly in terms of the uh, willingness of the international community to implement uh, the commitments it made in Paris. So a lot of agreements were made, a lot of commitments were made, and we're seeing that they're not being met. And so that's something that we've continued to raise and we will continue to raise. The fact that there is this emergency on a global scale and that we actually have come to an agreement already how to address it, but now we're not following through. And so that's something that uh, we will continue to raise.